Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. Oh, this you crazy mother. So what I want to do specifically in this session is go over something that, uh, I mean, I've been talking about with a few people on Reddit and a few people on Twitter, and a lot of people have asked um, about how I use Todoist to organize my organize my holistic uh, targets, my holistic goals. And obviously, I'm not talking here about the you know about me being someone who organizes himself really well because I've said previously, you know, this productivity app um, channel is not about you learning how to be productive. It's about you understanding the tools, resources, and understanding all the functionality, case studies, uses for them to then replicate productivity on. Obviously, it's not all about the tools sometimes, so it's important just to understand that before we go into this. But I wanted to kind of reveal some of the ways I'm using this as a resource to organize everything like that. So as you can see, this is my Todoist. Up here is my weekly target filter. And I'm not going to show you that because it's got some information that I don't want to specifically share with you guys, but it's something that I use every day. So what I do is I'll tend to open this up in the morning. And the first thing I'll do is hit filters. And once I hit uh, weekly targets, I'm opened up to this. And as you can see, um, you need to do as premium to access the comments. So I, I want to let you know that before we go into detail there. But it's something that is quite easy to set up. So as you can see, I've got one uh, red um, and it's 2016 notes. And what goes in here is everything for the year. So these are all my targets. I continually refine across the year, but it's something that I have there um, to go along with. This is the secondary, this is my month target. So instead of having a three month target, I have a month target that directly correlates to 2016 and it also is the whole month. And then I have weekly targets that allow me to look at that week holistically too. So as I mentioned, I won't go into detail on each specific one, but what I do to get this up, and obviously, uh, you know, you could probably have this inside a specific thing or nested inside one of these, uh, projects, but what I wanted to actually do is not have them here because I think that these should be more task, more you know, information feel. So what I've done is I've actually nested them all inside this large sub project. So up here they're nested inside here, and then what they have, uh, as you can see here, they have the label at targets. And what happens there is, uh, so let me just get this one up, at target. So everything's tagged with at targets. It has no due date. And what I, ha what I do is I'll put a number over the top of it in order. So one goes to the highest, you know, obviously 2016. Two will go to the month and three will go to the week. So as you can imagine, this is quite useful because obviously it orders it like this. And I've put red, um, orange and priority one, so priority one, priority two, priority three. So that's quite useful because obviously once you create the filter, so if you go over to the filters and you type in uh, weekly targets and then at targets, let me just actually, sorry, I'm just going to create and test one. Um, so what I'm going to do is obviously I'll create targets two. Um, I'm going to put this one in a different color. So obviously you can choose the colors. Um, so here we go. So as you can imagine, let's say I'm just setting up some new targets um, and I go to one of my project folders. Maybe I've reviewed something called uh, target two. And what I do is to start off with, um, I create, I go one, the two exclamation marks and I put 2016 notes in capital letters because it makes it nice and clean. Then what I'll do is I'll sign it to a high priority and press enter. And once you've got that, I can do the same with uh, 2016 Feb notes. And as you can imagine, Todoist is very sensitive to this. So all you have to do is click off um, to be able to get that. I set that as the second highest priority. Double enter that, remove that, and press this. 
So as you can see, there's no specific scheduling of dates. And finally, I'll do this with, um, so I sh maybe shouldn't have put the 2016 thing there, but week two, and obviously assign it to that second week, which is now in February. So all I have to do there is double, oh, I've done it wrong there. Uh, click off this and press this double time. Then set this one to a priority three, press that into the feed. And as you can imagine, these all come up as separate tasks or their nests. So what I'll do here is I'll set the targets. And as, because the system hasn't recognized it, I believe they'll come up as targets too. So if I do this uh, for the other two ones, and I just bring them here, this saves them coming up in your stream every day. And it almost like, you know, twigs you to go back into it. So as you can imagine, I can go over to filters now, hover over weekly targets, and they're all here. So what I'll do here is I'll take the comments, <clears throat> sorry, I'll take the comments and I'll do the following. So I'll make a title. So let's say area one. So this can be, you know, I do them for my three areas, my job, um, my personal brand, which is what I do in my spare time, and then my health and my fitness. So what I'll do is I'll create this setup. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is create this setup. So I've created a double exclamation mark, capital letters in that, so it bolds it. And then I create three separate uh, numbers and I add comment. And what it will do is it will come up as a separate segment. Um, and what's nice about this is like, let's say I did area two and did the same structure. Doop, three, and then, oh, three, and then added that as a comment. So let's say you have five or six areas. You have those three tasks that you can specifically focus on over that month or that year, and they all directly correlate as you go downwards. So it's not like a huge long list. It's something very simple, very simplistic to be able to correlate each of the, the three depth of tasks. So as you can imagine, that um, GTD theory by David Allen of the 50,000 uh, feet rule. Uh, this is kind of your 50,000 feet. This is your like 30,000 feet and this is your 10,000 feet. So it's a good way to kind of view your um, thing. And it's an easy way to actually visualize when you're seeing this. So one thing I'm gonna show you here is when you type in, let's say I just edited some of my ta the, the tasks that were in here because obviously things change. As you can see in Todoist, the comments give you timestamps. So you can see that one was updated a minute after those two. This is really beneficial because you can see specifically when you changed it and when you made a difference to that specific thing. So that's quite beneficial. So as you can imagine, what happens is you get three indicators here. You can see three way down and you can visualize all of your tasks quite easily. So I'll go in in the morning and what I'll tend to do is I'll go, uh, okay, this is my year's goals, right? Yep, do my February week two notes actually correlate directly to those, to one, the February notes, and two, the 2016 notes. So it's really beneficial to keep constantly monitoring. And what I'll tend to do as well is because I've got my work uh, stuff here and obviously my personal stuff, I can actually go into this as the first point of call a day and sometimes I'll tend to create a task that's, when I started, I create a task that's reoccurring at the start of the day to actually check this project folder um, and obviously check weekly targets. So anyway, guys, that's just a little overview of how I organize my uh, tasks. Uh, as you can imagine, it's very important to be able to see this holistically. Um, and this is how I organize that holistically. So I just wanted to give you a kind of yeah, in-depth look. As you can imagine, they don't come up in the stream, which is quite valuable because obviously um, it doesn't disrupt you from all of the other stuff. So anyway, guys, I just want to make sure that was uh, useful for you. So please, in the comments, let me know how you uh, organize your holistic activities, You know, whether it's other applications or anything like that. Do you use this kind of tactic, which is a three by three uh, motto uh, across the board? So three by three by three. Um, or do you use something else? I'd love to know. And also, where do you store it? Because I think that's vitally important. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.